how to set up shopify payments hey guys welcome back now if you're looking to get started with shopify it's very essential that you set up your payment providers and the different types of payments beforehand so in this video i'm going to break it down for you guys step by step on how you can get started with accepting payments now let's get into it now the first thing you have to do is head on over to your shopify store once you're on your Shopify store, you want to go into your basic settings on the bottom left. So on your bottom left, simply click on settings and this will pop up your store settings. Now in your store settings on the left side, you have a toolbar or a panel. And in this panel, you can click on payments over here. Now, after you click on payments, you will see the different payment providers you could add, supported payment methods, manual payment methods, as well as your payment capture method. So authorize and capture payment when an order is placed. So you can change these settings. So let's go through them step by step. Now, the first and most essential part is to choose your payment provider. This is going to enable you to take in payments set by a third party application. Usually these do have a, you know, fee. And especially if you have like a basic plan on Shopify, usually those fees are going to be more. However, if you are subscribed to a pro plan on Shopify, those fees are deduced. Now, after that, you also have supported payment methods. Now, the difference between these two is that a provider, a payment provider is going to be a third party, where as well as a payment method, you could use a third party to provide a particular method, but in that you would be focusing on what kind of method you want. So if you want Klarna or if you want Visa, so whatever payment method you want, you can manually find that or just choose one provider and just choose all of their selected payment methods that they have available. Now, other than your basic payment methods, which I'll get back to right in a second, you also have manual payment methods. Now, you can create manual payment methods, especially if your business is in the service industry or you're dealing with bulk quantities. In that situation, manual payment methods can make a lot more sense for you. And to do that, all you have to do is click on add manual payment method. Now you have a few different options. You have cash on delivery, you have money orders, bank deposits, and custom payment methods. So if you're located in a country where they have a particular type of payment and it's not available in payment providers on Shopify, you can click on create custom payment methods and you can add that over here. So if I have something like a mobile transaction in my country, so a mobile transactional app application which is not supported by Shopify then you can add those into this particular custom payment method and set them up over here to make it easier for your customers and provide them with a wide variety of payment methods that they could use. Now other than that cash on delivery money orders and bank deposits are pretty standard if you want to add any of these simply click on the option you want and add your payment instructions you can enter your account number or name or whatever account information you have to add to receive payments now after that we are going to get started with setting up our provider for payments on shopify now simply scroll back up and click on choose a provider once you click on choose a provider, you will see first off you have a bogus getaway. Whenever you're setting your Shopify store up and you know you don't have the means or you aren't really sure what getaway you want to set up, but you just want to take a look at what your getaway is going to look like. For that situation, the testing getaway does exist. Now, after that, you have multiple different types of payment getaways. Now, some might be available in your country, some might not be available in your country. Each individual payment provider is going to have multiple different options available. So let's say CyberSource has Visa, MasterCard, Amex, Discover Cards, JCB, and Apple Pay. ePay has more options. They also have Diners Club and other options. So it really depends on how many types of payments you're taking. For most businesses, the standard is credit cards, debit cards, Google Pay, Apple Pay, Amazon gift cards, or using something like a online payment method, or sometimes even Klarna. So if you have a specific type of payment method in mind, then you're going to go back and you're going to click on supported payment methods and click on add payment method. And instead of searching by your provider, you can search for a particular type of method. Let's say I want to add Klarna. So I can search for Klarna over here. And let's say I want to offer Visa, MasterCard, Klarna, and maybe, yeah, let's say I want these three methods. Now, 
what this is going to help me do is that this is going to show me the payment providers that are providing these particular or specifically these particular payment methods so i can easily find those providers instead of having to scroll through a very large directory of payment providers i can filter them out like this and now you can see i have four different providers that are offering these methods now all four of these have a zero transaction fee now which one should you pick well, it really depends on what kind of checkout system you want. I have previously used Ping Pong Checkout and I did find it to be super easy and effective. Now, if you take a look at the options, Ping Pong actually has quite a lot of options. They have over 44 options and then Wall E Payments also has 49 other options. And then you also had Advanced Credit Debit Use E Pay, which has 10 more options, and Checkout.com, which has 13 other options. So whichever one you prefer, you can click on Add uh, and 49 more just to see a brief description of some of the other payment providers that they have. Now, let's say I like this particular method. So once you have chosen the payment provider that has all the payment methods that you want to add to your store, you're going to simply click on Activate on the right side. Once you click on activate over here, you will see about your payment method and you are currently not connected to Wally Payments. Click connect to install the application and set up your account. So what you're going to do is click on connect over here. This will open up your particular account. It really depends on where you are located. So if I search for, I'm just going to go for a basic payment provider. Just click on choose a provider over here. And let's say I want to choose this provider over here click on connect over here and then in a new tab you just have to create your account for that particular payment provider so we have the paymob and i'm going to click on install now so our payment provider application is going to be installed and from here i can sign in and i will create my username so you can go on to your selected payment provider, go into their basic homepage, and once you go on to their homepage, you can go ahead and sign up and then click on connect to connect your particular payment provider. Now, there are multiple different payment providers, so even if one is not available in your country, you don't have to worry, you can add a different payment provider. There are definitive payment providers available for multiple different regions, so you're going to find a bunch of different alternatives, even if the one of your choice is not available. You can also integrate multiple different payment providers to make it easier for you to get started with accepting different types of payment. Now, the best part about using Shopify is because it's so simple to set up, and it's so cheap because with the basic plan on Shopify, you can get started with $25 per month, which includes basic reporting, 1,000 inventory locations, and two staff accounts, and then the Shopify for small businesses starting at $65 per month, where you can include professional reports as well. Now, the best part about this is that you can start for free and then enjoy Shopify for the next three months for only $1 per month. So for the first three months, you can spend only $1 a month to set up your store, to learn about Shopify, and to make sure that your store is up and running when it's time to launch. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.